Why did I leave my stepdad? Because he was there for 35 years, 38 years. I could have left him, why didn't I? Well, it wasn't because of the overfeeding. Something really strange was starting to happen. And I was noticing, first of all, it looked like it was a nice thing. He'd be taking me out for KFC quite a lot. I can have anything I want. Taco Bell, we've got a Taco Bell over here, a few of them. He'd say, go on, Jack, have another one. No, help yourself. It's great, lovely. Go down to Felix Stowe, really nice fish place. Be really big fish, fish and chips. I'd be stuffed. I was trying to keep up my fitness, trying to run, trying to walk, trying to keep in shape. And it seemed to me that it was almost like he was trying to sabotage it. And I couldn't actually put my finger on it, but it was like, well, instead of going out to run, it would be, well, it's dinner time. And I was in my 50s, not like a child. And he'd feed me and would give me dessert. He'd have dessert, but he wouldn't eat his. So he'd wait for me to finish mine. And he'd say, yeah, have another one. Like, no, 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 that's all right. He said, well, wait, wait, you're not hungry? Said, no, I can't hear the, okay. So the next time he'd give me some more. He said, have another one. No, I'm not hungry. Why? You not hungry? And it wasn't like an inquisitive, it was almost like a telling off, like an expecting me to eat it. I watched him do that with my mom as well when she was alive, when she was there. He would give her so much food, she couldn't eat it. So every time when he'd go in the kitchen, she'd say, oh, Jack, she'd say, have it, Jack, I can't eat it. So I'd take it, and actually my last ex tried doing that too. <laughs> she saw me mum doing it, and then she'd go, this Jack so you try it you have it I can't eat it while he stepdad three was in the kitchen he didn't know so he'd come in and everybody would eaten their food except for me stuffed man that hurt and I'd watch him give me more and he'd give me more you know and there's no matter how much running and walking I was doing I was starting to put on weight that's what my mum did she put on weight she was a beautiful woman and she put on a lot of weight over a short period of time when my mum had dementia, he started putting a bib on her. You know, I thought, okay, yeah, you know, spilling the food a little bit. She didn't really, but giving her a spoon, you know, these are the kind of things you think, okay, yeah. But when I went to live with him, to look after him, when mum was in dementia, he served me once, right, and he put a spoon. It was rice or something like that. I looked over at him, he had a fork. Oh, okay, I got it. So, so you're not having a spoon? He said, no, nah, no. Nah. I said, well, I'm having a fork too, like an adult does. And I saw almost this kind of a duper's delight on his face. I was in the kitchen once with him when he was serving up dinner. And he was serving rice, bloody humongous amount of rice it was. And he put it on my plate. He had a tiny little portion for himself. He put this massive portion on my plate. Literally, it was that hysterical. I looked at it. I said, can I, you seriously expect me to eat all that? I can't eat all that. He said, why? I said, I can't. That's a massive amount. He says, it's all right. You eat that. I'm not having all that rice. He took the plate. He took a whole bunch of rice off of it. I mean, he looked like take load or ladles, loads. Ladle noodles, the rice off the plate. Just insane. And I'm thinking it's got to be because of his, I don't know, his new way of thinking, maybe, because he had a stroke. I mean, why else would it have been? There couldn't have been any other reason. He was trying to feed me. I didn't realize until afterwards, after I'd gone, that it's actually none of that made sense. And I found out that what abusers do is they overfeed you. They try and get you out of shapes so that you, you're not even attracted. I don't know why they do it, I suppose. It breaks you down even more. they got a lot of control. My ex used to do that too. I was really fit before I met my ex. And the same with my last ex as well. She knew what she was doing too. She made sure that I'd be trying to fatten me up. She said, oh, I like man with a belly. You're going to have to put up with that love because I want to be healthy. It's not good. In fact, my old wife used to do that too. I was well in shape and I was never been out of shape, never been overweight until I got together with my wife. And by the end of it, I lost it all as well, lost all that weight. Got together with my ex-partner. I was well in shape then and by the end of that, I was like completely out of shape and overweight. And then by the time I got to stay with my stepdad, I was well in shape then too. And by the time I left, I was out of shape then as well. And he'd say, you want to go get something to eat? 
I said, no, no, no. He said, why? I was real sharp. Well, you're not hungry? No, I'm not hungry. It was the expectation, wasn't it? Even years ago, he used to give me a sandwich. It's just one sandwich. He never used to overfeed me back then. But when we first met, you know, he'd say, you know, have what you want, as much as you like. It was different when it was just me and him. I noticed it was overfeeding. And I can't escape that thought. He actually was trying to overfeed me. And he knew he was overfeeding me. I'd already eaten as well. Like some, I'd be, I was independent, you know? And I'd go and eat in my own camper van sometimes, cook some dinner. And then I started feeling afraid. Started feeling afraid of like, if I said to him, I've already eaten, it'd be like that look of a disapproval, that sigh of, and you start wanting to not eat. It's like they're training you to do this. They train you to not make your own decisions, like food. They train you not to go out and eat and have your own stuff because they'd set up routines. It's going to be dinner time, it's going to be breakfast time, you've got to expect it, that they're there and they're cooking for you and you expect it to be there. So you can't go off and have your own meals because they'd be like, well, your dinner's cold. Well, I didn't know we were going to have dinner. And they'd tell you off. It wasn't meant to be dinner time. I was not actually there with him being my parent. He wasn't my parent and I wasn't there to be fed by him. Even though he said to me, well, as soon as I got down there to look after him, he said, well, I'll take care of you. I said, actually, no, I'm not here to take care of you. The whole thing's really messed up. Then there's this other really, really weird thing. I've got to tell you this, okay? It's not about overfeeding, but it's about food. So he made me a salad and I like this balsamic vinegar. And, you know, I mean, when we like a sauce, we put our own sauce on, right? So he'd actually put the sauce on for me, not the sauce, the balsamic vinegar. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, appreciate that. Yes, we do. Yeah. It's like, oh, I really want to put my own on there, but you don't, you don't say anything. Honestly, it was just, it gets really weird because over time, every time he served me, there'd be a little bit more in there. He says, uh, you like your vinegar, right? And he says, yeah. So, <laughs> I guess first of all, he wouldn't put too much on. I said, uh, yeah, I like, I like a bit of vinegar. I, I like some more on there, you know. And I'd go out and get the vinegar and come back in. And the really strangest thing was I was seeing more and more and more vinegar on there until it was like flooded loads of vinegar in there and it's the weirdest thing ever honestly i swear by heavens i clocked it i knew what was going on by this time and i didn't give him the satisfaction of me saying what the bloody hell there's loads of vinegar on there you know i'd say oh that's really nice and he'd look at me with this kind of like look but like he was playing with me not in a playful way but like in he was enjoying it and he'd say you like your vinegar there and a jack I'd say, yeah yeah i love that it didn't upset me, it didn't make me angry or nothing. You know, I just noticed it. It's like loads of vinegar. And I just look at it and I think, you got me kidding me, man. But like I said, you know, I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. I could see the look on his face like he was really enjoying doing that. I think you evil. Anyway, if you don't mind, look, I'm going to be here for a while, okay? I've got so much to say, so I really, really would appreciate if you would like and subscribe and keep on checking. Maybe comment. You know, I honestly would love to hear the kind of things that you've been through as well. It'd be wonderful if you posted these stories down below right there. So on that note, I'm going to leave you on this one, then I'll post some more videos, and I'll say to you after now.